Hello Taurus, this is your reading for the 8th or the 9th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> you guys, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys. What's going on for Taurus today? Feeling in love. Feeling loved. And waiting on something that is um, suitable for you is what I'm getting here. Something that makes you happy, makes your heart sing. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are just trying to focus on your own well-being. Okay. Probably keeping your heart close. Mm -hmm. Finding some balance in your life. Maybe trying to figure out how you can invite some love in. But still, you know, kind of keep you know yourself grounded, I feel. Not trying to get too wrapped up in things is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Not trying to get too wrapped up to where it kind of throws you off of your game is what I'm getting from you guys. You guys are working a lot. Um, just trying to find a nice balance between your social life and your, um, your work life is what I'm getting here, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like, you know, if you guys get involved with something, you want it to be something that is... Um, is stable that's going to lead to commitment maybe even marriage you know something that is very um, committed I feel and the right one something that you know will grow and um, be good for you you want this person to be the one all right what I'm getting here because you know what you have um, to offer and a lot of you have been heartbroken before, have gotten out of relationships where, you know, you felt very disappointed, very tired, felt like you were, you know, struggling to maintain in that relationship. And then we have the emperor. Yeah. Mm. You're facing towards the past, though, Taurus. You're facing towards the past. Um, so there's a lot I feel that um, you are taken into consideration when it comes to inviting someone in as far as love, okay? You want them to match you. You don't want to make the same mistakes again is what I'm, what I'm getting from you guys here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to feel like, you know, you guys are constantly at odds. You want to be on the same page. And I see that with the emperor and the empress. You want somebody that, you know, wants the same things out of life that you want is going in the same direction that you're going is what I'm getting here. OK, and I think that you are, you know, you're learning certain things about yourself, your wants, your needs, you know, your desires. And um, you just look at that. And you're confident at this point that um, you don't have to accept anything less than that. But I feel like you guys are trying to manifest something here. And that's a reconnection is what I'm getting from this. This is a reconnection. Maybe you guys are, you know, you're divorced and maybe you're trying to reunite with an ex. Ex-wife, ex-husband. Or just an ex in general. Okay. But for the most part, if those of you... Um, if you're not trying to reconnect with someone, um, you are just wanting to be happy in your relationship. You want to have everything, I feel. Not just financial security, but you literally want, you want everything is what I'm getting from you guys, okay? Everything. King of Cups. Yeah. They definitely need to be emotionally stable, not fly off the handle, you know, act crazy, um, you know, not be a stalker or not be aloof. You want them to be like how they're supposed to be. That's what I'm getting from you guys. Um, I think you want somebody that is more in t touch with their feminine side. My gosh, um, whether male or female. OK, because um, if, if men are not in touch with their feminine side, then, you know, sometimes they don't have any regard for women or their emotions, the things that they go through as a woman. So I feel like definitely you guys want to be more in touch with your um, masculine side and you want them to be more in touch with their feminine side. You want you guys to be like the yin and the yang. OK, fit together like puzzle pieces here. 
is what I'm getting from you guys, okay? So let's see what um, is influencing you guys today. Let's see what's influencing Taurus today. <clears throat> I saw the hermit there. You're looking for the one. Hmm. And you're not going to settle for anything less, okay? That's what I'm getting with the Five of Swords. You're just, you're going to fight for this. And um, you're not going to give up. Otherwise, you'll stay to yourself. You know? Um, you're not willing to uh, just, what do you call it? What do you call it? You're not desperate. Okay? So, you're not going to waver. You're not going to compromise on the things that you feel are important to you. You know, that you should have in a relationship here. Let's see what the outcome is. Mm-hmm. We have the Queen of Swords there. Huh. Let's see. And the Three of Wands. Hmm. I think that you're very verbal. But I also feel like there's somebody else here that um, that has something to say to you. And this person I feel like has, um, has tried to walk away or is walking away, but somebody that you are not with. Okay, and this may be the same person that you guys are thinking about here, but there's definitely a Queen of Swords here that I feel like is um, is feeling some kind of way, whether male or female. And um, this person, this person really wants to address some issues with you. I feel like they're angry, this person, but there's something that they want to know. There's something that they want you to reveal to them. There's something that they want to talk about with you, okay? Just a message for, for some of you. But in the outcome here, I see you guys, again, not accepting anything less than what it is that you feel like you deserve. Um, you're waiting on that. You're waiting on that. And you're, and you're not going to compromise on that matter, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can clarify what this Queen of Swords wants to say. What does the Queen of Swords want? What does the Queen of Swords want? Okay. All right. Six of Swords. Somebody wants to go forward with you. They wanted to just, they want to discuss what has happened between the two of you guys here. Oh, I got cards jumping now. Let's see. Hang on, guys. You know, my little deck's trying to slide all over the place. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody feels very um, confident here. But again, the King of Swords came in the reverse. Uh, maybe this person is very angry. Maybe they want to discuss how you were angry before, how you said some very hurtful words to them. And um, they really want to show you that they're good now, I feel. They're good without you. It's almost like they want to throw something in your face. They want to throw something in your face because they feel like you guys, um, you wronged them. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Somebody here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, individual, um, maybe Aries. Somebody with, you know, air and fire, I feel, in their chart. Let's see what the Romance Angels has to say for you guys today. You deserve love. You are lovable. Don't put up with any bull crap. Whatever it is that you guys, you know, have intentions of doing, continue to do that. I feel like you guys are on the right path. Um, you're doing the right thing for yourself, okay? So again, um, we have an individual here that has um, air, fire, um, earth in their chart that you know has this confrontational energy, I feel, that you guys may encounter. This may be the same person that you guys have your eye on here. Does not have to be, okay? But I feel an energy of reconnection here, meaning somebody from the past. 
So we have Capricorn, Aquarius energy, um, Taurus, Libra, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Virgo energy is here as well. Mm -hmm. Pisces. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.